Hi, this is Richard Tavilio and welcome to our video lecture Android apps for backyard astronomers featuring Lunar Eclipse this October 8, 2014. To continue with my lecture, we started already with our investigation of Lunar Eclipse using my mobile observatory and Moon Face Pro. This time we will explore it with my Sky Safari Pro app. Starting from our home planet Earth, we will press search, then this moons, then moon of Earth. After that, it will give us data about our moon, starting from basic information, visibility, lunar faces, and on the right side are photos and more descriptions about our moon. By scrolling down, you will see the crisp images of the lunar surface, how the moon will turn into coppery red during a lunar eclipse. A detailed description of Umbra and Penumbra, and this is the nodes that I am referring to from my previous lecture. Actually, a node is where the orbits of the Sun and Moon intersect. Look at the picture. No eclipse will occur if the Moon's orbit during full Moon is, is either above or below it. What's impressive with this app is that we can orbit a certain object, say our Moon. It is like traveling in a spaceship from Earth. We will view the moon from behind. Recall that eclipse happens if our sun, Earth and moon forms a straight line, causing the Earth's shadow, specifically the umbra, to fall on the moon's surface. Not above the moon or below it, but almost directly in front of it. We will adjust the date to October 8, 2014 and we will investigate. What time specifically will it occur? Let's see. The surface of the moon will start to turn red beginning from the lower right of it. As seen from Earth, it will be from its lower left. It says here 5.15 pm until 6.25. It will stay fully red until 7.25, means about an hour. An hour of an eclipse moon if the sky is clear is very ideal for backyard astronomers like us. Then the shadow will start to disappear starting from the upper left of the moon as seen from Earth. The moon will then return to its normal state of being a full moon by 840. Although the Earth's penumbra is still on the moon, it will become well lighted by 9.34 pm. Again, it will only be very interesting if the sky will be very clear in our location. Then, after that spectacular event as seen from behind the moon, we will return to our home planet Earth to reflect what had happened. Our next and last app to demonstrate the eclipse will be my mobile Stellarium. Stay tuned as we simulate the lunar eclipse as seen from our planet Earth. Again, this is your Skywatching tutor, Rachel Tavilio, saying, Use your gadgets to enhance learning and increase productivity. Be a responsible owner and use it to your advantage. Until the next episode, 